Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, is a new supersonic transport in our future? NTSB names loss of control accidents as a villain. Breitling Jet Team concludes their North American tour. Hello, I'm Christopher Siodum. It's November 17th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. With a goal of developing the first supersonic passenger airliner for business travelers, Colorado's startup Boom Technology has unveiled the XB-1 test airplane, a proof-of-concept aircraft that the company hopes will lead to a 45-passenger aircraft that would fly from London to New York City in a little over three hours. The XB-1 Demonstrator is a technically representative one-third scale version of the production Boom supersonic passenger airliner. Nicknamed Baby Boom, it was unveiled earlier this week at the exclusive VIP event for airline and aerospace executives and media. Blake Skoll, the chief executive officer and founder of Boom, said in part, 60 years after the dawn of the jet age, we're still flying 1960s speeds. Concorde's designers didn't have the technology for affordable supersonic travel, but now we do. First flight of the XB-1 is planned for late 2017. Subsonic flight tests will be conducted east of Denver, while supersonic test flights will be conducted near Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California in partnership with Virgin Galactic's The Spaceship Company. The NTSB has released its annual Most Wanted list, which identifies the top safety improvements that can be made all across modes to prevent accidents and save lives in the future. It has been for the past several years, prevention of loss of control accidents in general aviation is one of the board's top priorities. The board says that to prevent unintended departures from flight and better manage stalls, pilots need more training and a better awareness of the technologies that can help prevent these tragedies. NTSB data from 2008 to 2014 confirmed that loss of control continues to be the biggest killer in general aviation. Better training on how to eliminate distraction, avoid stalls, and manage weather issues will put pilots back in control and give them better command of their outcomes. The board urges lawmakers to adopt life-saving solutions and for industry to implement safety technologies and programs. After the break, thousands of fans in the U.S. enjoyed the Breitling Jet Team. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited or TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at arrow-news.net. The world's largest professional civilian jet team performed for hundreds of thousands of fans during their first ever tour of North America, and from the reaction of their show fans, their performances were well received. After two years of highly acclaimed performances, the Breitling Jet Team's first ever American tour recently concluded at the inaugural Breitling Huntington Beach Air Show in Huntington Beach, California. Supported by the independent Swiss watch brand Breitling, the team flew over seven L-39C Albatross 
Cross jets and performances from coast to coast with over 70 performances at 30 different air shows in the U.S. and Canada over the two-year tour. Breitling established a jet team over 13 years ago to celebrate their passion for aviation and share it with fans all across the globe. Breitling USA President Terry Prissard said, The team has embodied our spirit of adventure, and we are thrilled with how well they have been received these past two years in North America. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. Here's this week's Aero Community Update. At about the time the air show season is running down, we think it's appropriate to remind you of the important role an organization known as the International Council of Air Shows, or simply ICAS, plays in keeping air shows entertaining and safe. The early days of air shows were commonly referred to as barnstorming. Pilots would simply show up as individuals, but on an aerial demonstration and commonly sell airplane rides. It may sound romantic, but it was really not very good business. ICAS was founded in 1968 as a trade and professional association by industry professionals to protect and promote their interest in the growing North America air show marketplace. As an organization of air show performers and promoters, ICAS works collectively to keep the industry safe and provide business standards. The air shows that we enjoyed this year were there because of the organization, cooperation, and safety fostered by ICAS. When the excitement of an air show brings someone into aviation, we can thank ICAS for presenting aviation with its best foot forward. The A&N crew says thanks for a great year of air shows, and we're looking forward to next year. After these messages, crew assignments on the International Space Station have been updated. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Renbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Renbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Renbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Renbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. NASA and its partners have updated the assignments for several crew rotations to the International Space Station in 2017. The changes reflect a switch in assignments for some NASA astronauts and a reduction in the number of Russian cosmonauts on some missions. The Airline Pilots Association is supporting the NTSB's inclusion of improving safety during the shipment of hazardous materials on its most wanted list. Alpa says one of their significant concerns is a shipment of undeclared dangerous goods. Bristol Group announced that it has entered into a financial arrangement with Lombard and the Royal Bank of Scotland. The proceeds from the financings will be used to finance eight search and rescue helicopters being utilized under contract with the UK Department for Transport. 
of the first flight of the General Atomics Avenger Extended Range Drone was completed recently at the company's operations facility in Palmdale, California. They say this drone provides an optimal balance of long loiter intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance and precision strike capability. The U.S. Air Force is making an additional $5 million investment at Springfield Beckley Municipal Airport in Ohio. Already a UAV testing facility, the new equipment and software under development is for autonomous flight of UAVs rather than control from a human operator. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. It's reported that according to representatives speaking for the president-elect, a $100 million lawsuit filed by Donald Trump against Palm Beach County, Florida International Airport in 2015 will be dropped. It's also reported that the county attorney said in an email that the county had been notified that the suit would voluntarily be dismissed. Trump has been fighting against flights over his Mar-a-Lago Oceanfront Club, where he lives part-time for some 20 years, according to a report from the McClatchy News Service. But now that he has been elected president, the FAA will very likely put TFRs in place over the area when Trump is in town. With the temporary flight restriction in place, it's a pretty good bet that the aircraft noise problem will be eliminated. And for our final report today, we're reminding you that Bob Hoover Memorial Celebration is scheduled for the afternoon of Friday, November 18th from 2 to 4 o'clock Pacific Time. Aerial News Network will bring the aviation community around the world a live webcast from an event site at Clay Lacey Aviation in Van Nuys, California. The primary online viewing portal might be accessed at www.letbobfly.net forward slash live from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock Pacific time. Our broadcast is beginning one hour before the actual memorial celebration to allow preliminary interviews and discussions about the life of Bob Hoover. Please join us as we remember our friend Bob Hoover. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited stream daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying! We'll see you tomorrow.